All right, Pisces. This is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Gemini uh, for the next week. So today is March 9th. So let's say till the 16th. So between Pisces and Gemini placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or node. So if you're a Pisces sun dealing with the Gemini moon, this reading may resonate with you. If you are a Pisces Venus dealing with the Gemini sun sign, this reading may resonate with you. So we're going to be pulling four cards from the Rebel deck. Um, this could be a message for you, Pisces. This could be a message for Gemini. Take what fits, leave the rest. Keep in mind that not every reading will resonate with you every single time. Um, be sure to hit that like button if this reading does resonate with you. Show some support. Um, so let's see. Messages between Pisces and Gemini, please. What have we got? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for Pisces dealing with a Gemini. Single jumping uh, cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how I roll. Okay, so we have... Fucking apologize. Excuse my language. Um, it literally says that. I've been trying to not, but uh, that one just busts out of my lips. All right, so F and apologize. Seriously, just do it. Okay, so either you need to apologize or this Gemini may need to apologize. Stop making it a big deal. All right, you are talented and effing amazing. Your words, uh, <laughs> your words, hmm, maybe something about your words, but the world needs your power. Use your voice. Yeah, don't uh, just use it for dumb ish. Okay, so whatever this is, um, you are talented and effing amazing. Um, the world needs your voice. We also have you need a big effing hug. Squeeze. Sorry, I got a rabbit below me that's biting on me. But uh, anyways, um, either you need a big hug or Gemini may need a hug. Okay, stop sleeping so dang much. Wake up. You are missing some cool-ish. All right, so someone here may be feeling a little bit depressed or just sad or maybe even under the weather with this. You need a big effing hug and stop sleeping so much. Um, we're coming up on a spring solstice, right? The time change for those of you guys that live in an area where there is time change, okay? Anyways, went off subject there. But uh, let's see. Let's get four cards from the Andromeda Skies. Someone here may also need to do some throat chakra ex exercises. If you don't know what that is, uh, you guys can look that up. But those of you guys that know what that is, um, yeah. All right, singing uh, can help. All right, four cards, please. Pisces and Gemini. Pisces dealing with Gemini. Too many. So we have Twin Flame, I don't know what I want. Um, I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. So someone here may have a lot going on in their life. It could be overwhelming. Um, someone here may also not really know what they want yet. Okay, you guys could be dealing with the Twin Flame. Sometimes, if you guys resonate with that, sometimes Twin Flames are, you know, the hardest journeys. So sometimes Twins don't even come into union, you know. In this lifetime or whatever i find you incredibly attractive and i will find my way back to you one day so yeah for for the time being for whoever this is resonating with keep in mind that even if these oracles don't resonate with you doesn't mean that the rest of the tarot reading won't so just stay tuned um, to find out if this is your reading uh so let's get some cards from the hidden truth oracle four cards please for pisces stone with gemini so there is a, a strong attraction here but i also feel like somebody here may not know what they want they may have a lot of other things going on in their life. Uh, divine timing may be at, at play within this situation. So let's see. Four cards, please, from the Hidden Truth Oracle. This could be, you know, something you may be wanting to say and haven't said to Gemini or something Gemini may be wanting to say to you and has not said. Okay, I will wait for a sign from you. I wish I treated you better. So whoever this reading may be resonating with, there could be, you know, you guys could be on a break. There could be no speaking at this time. 
Someone may not know what to say. Someone may be waiting for the other person to reach out. Um, <clears throat> we need to let each other go. And one more. So you may be feeling like you guys need to let each other go, at least for the time being. Um, and the time, yeah, and the timing just wasn't right for us. And I will find my way back to you one day. So like I was saying, the timing may not be right at this time for you guys to come into union. Someone may have a lot of other things that could be blocking this connection from coming into fruition. Um, that could be why you're just wanting to let this go because it could be overwhelming. Um, I feel like you may be waiting for a sign from this person or this person may be waiting for a sign from you. Um, and one of you wishes that you treated the other one better. Okay. All right. So let's see. It is time for me to heal now. So yeah, someone may also be still trying to heal from something that they've been through, or you may be still trying to heal from something that you've been through. Okay. The timing just may not be right for the situation. So let's see. Pisces dealing with Gemini. First card out is going to be for Pisces. Overall energy. Second card will be for Gemini. Gemini's overall energy, please. Someone here may also need to speak up and, and you know, apologize. Someone may be having a hard time doing that. With this, I wish I treated you better. Somebody may have done something that was underhanded or, you know, that could have hurt the other one. So let's see. First card is for Pisces overall energy. Single card only. Second card will be for Gemini's overall energy. King of Swords. Seven of Cups showing itself. So Pisces, you could be in this King of Swords energy, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be a little bit emotionally closed off at this time. Um, this King of Swords is intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships, and being unemotionally available. And also keep in mind, this energy can always be reversed, okay? Um, so flip the rules according to your situation. Show me Gemini's overall energy, please. The ones dealing with a Pisces. Five of Swords showing itself so there could have been some gossip some slandering some game playing mind games okay ten of pentacles so ten of pentacles um can talk about family home legacy marriage financial security for yourself and for your family inheritance or retirement peace and contentment in your life honoring family traditions pride in the family tree and passing on knowledge um Show me Pisces emotions, please. Pisces emotions when dealing with the Gemini. What is Pisces emotions? Uh, so the awakening card, Piscean energy. Uh, this is like the hangman in traditional tarot, a temporary pause for reflection and insight, an awakening where you can see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness and charitable actions. There is an angel up in this tree uh, watching over this situation. However, you may be feeling like things are a little bit stuck or stagnant, or you may be trying to gain some type of insight or some type of clarity about a situation, trying to see things from a new perspective. And you could just be emotionally closed off at this time, like not really open to this or feeling a little bit. Um, I'm getting like complacent energy. Maybe you're in your thoughts a lot at this time. Okay, show me Gemini. What is Gemini's emotions, please? What is Gemini's emotions? Some of you guys could be a Pisces moon sign as well. Or your person, maybe. Show me Gemini's emotions. Gemini's emotions, please. The chariot. So there could be travel. This person may be traveling or they're just in their emotions. They may be wanting to move something forward very quickly. They may be traveling. Uh, this also talks about rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower and public recognition. So with this 10 of pentacles as their overall energy, this person may be working very hard. They may have had something, some type of a large lump sum of money. It could be taxes, could be anything. Okay. Coming in for someone here. Um, and this could be propelling them forward or giving them the 
giving them the determination and willpower to push forward. Okay, something may be working out very well for their finances or within their home or their stability, business. Okay, so let's see. What is Pisces' next move when dealing with the Gemini? Pisces' next move, please. Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, showing itself. So your next move, Pisces, there is some type of wish fulfillment coming in or wishes coming true, dreams becoming reality, a magical time of life, good fortune and faith in the universe that all will be well. So you may be reflecting on some things, okay? Um, trying to gain some type of mental clarity about a situation, but your next move, there is something that's going to, either be taking place or some type of wish coming true or wish fulfillment coming in for you. Okay. Show me Gemini's next move. Show me Gemini's next move. Show me, all right. Two of swords. So hmm. there could be a little bit of indecision on Gemini's part. With this Two of Swords, it talks about being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem and overanalyzing a situation. Two of Swords can also talk about like a stalemate, riding the fence, divided loyalties, having a choice between two but uh, not seizing to, make the op to take the opportunity. I don't know. That's typically not what I would say, but that's what just like I heard it came, came out. Okay, anyways. So there could be a choice that someone needs to make, but someone's not seizing the opportunity. Someone's not taking, someone's not making the choice. So if this is a Gemini that could be married or, and, you know, just doing very well financially or already has some type of stability or security built for themselves. Okay. This person may be, and, you know, more focused on moving forward or very determined to uh, to move forward in their own life and therefore they're not making a choice or a decision about this situation or they're ignoring something. This person may also be trying to make others happy, like satisfy others by not making, like there's something here that's uh, interfering in this situation. Show me Pisces intentions. What is Okay, show me Gemini's intentions, please. What is Gemini's intentions in this situation? What is Gemini's intentions? The Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Pisces intentions, King of Wands. So, Pisces, your intentions here, I feel like you're remaining to stay confident. Um, you may be going after something or wanting to take action, go towards something very passionately, very confidently. Some of you guys may be motivational speakers as well with this King of Swords, King of Wands in your energy. Um, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, taking a leadership role, stepping into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the bigger picture, communicate your vision and don't be sensitive to criticism. So this is your intentions is to stand very boldly, very confidently. Okay, but you may be trying to gain some type of mental clarity about a situation. Um, but ultimately, I feel like there's something that's going to come in for you that's going to make you happy or it's some sense of wish fulfillment that's going to put you in a more confident, action-oriented type of energy. Okay, or maybe that's what you're waiting on is something to come in or maybe that's what you're waiting on clarity about or you're trying to obtain some type of mental clarity um, moving towards something that you want or something that you've been wishing and hoping for. I do see that coming in for you, whatever that is. So when it comes to Gemini's intentions, the magician, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer is here as well. So they may have those placements in their chart, but magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a successful manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So this person is in like full throttle mode. Okay. Um, this person may be man like their, their intentions here is to, they have all the tools that they need to create whatever outcome it is that they desire. So they're in a very like a very powerful, determined um, type of energy to move forward. And they may be building some type of a business stability legacy or something for themselves. And that could be why they're not making a choice or a decision. For some of you guys, this person may be married or already in a family or some type of a commitment here. Okay. 
not for all of you guys, but show me the outcome between Pisces and Gemini for the next week. The outcome between Pisces and Gemini for the next week, please. Five cards. Two of Cups. What the fudge? Okay, so... Let me get these cards out and then we'll talk about it. Show the outcome between Pisces and Gemini within the next week, please. Knight of Wands, Strength card. Outcome please for Pisces and Gemini. Luna, leave it alone. Sorry. My rabbit's trying to break it in her. Knight of Pentacles. Er, yeah, Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> One more, please. And Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So two of cups, outcome within the next week. Uh, this is a partnership. This is love. This is a union. Um, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts and don't give up on the people that you love. Okay, with the Knight of Wands, this is a very quick moving action. Uh, taking action, doing something very quickly. Um, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events that require immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused in a passionate relationship. So, the strength card, Leo energy, personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you are stronger than you knew. Okay, so there is some, somebody here is finding the strength and the courage uh, to possibly take action towards having some type of a union or a partnership. Maybe somebody's been planning something. This could be planning on giving some type of a gift, offering some type of a stability, a proposal. Somebody may have been working on something for some time now. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect timing in a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. So we've seen that twice in this reading. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, be practical about how you proceed, the love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. So someone here may be working on something when it comes to their finances, to their stability, but when it comes to love, I do feel like someone's going to take action here and at least assert some type of forgiveness or try to... Um, bring about some type of forgiveness to the situation or someone's planning something. You have a couple nights out here as well. Um, I kind of want to get you guys, where are we at? 18. I kind of want to get you guys a little extra clarification on this too. Well, the lovers showing itself Gemini energy. Why is the two of cups out here for the outcome for Pisces and Gemini? Knight of wands, knight of wands. Ain't that some shit? All right. Show me why the Two of Cups is here. Oh, 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 not good. I'm trying not to flow all my cards everywhere, but I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, so show me why the Two of Cups is out here for the outcome for Pisces and Gemini, please. Show me the Two of Cups, please. Why is this here? The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, so some type of sudden change. A change in fate, a change in fortune. Good luck, good karma. Things moving in a positive direction. Okay, show me the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Nine of Cups. Yeah, somebody's moving very quickly towards wish fulfillment. You have the Nine of Cups in your reading too. So this person, and that's Piscean energy in the lower arcana. So someone may be moving very quickly towards you, Pisces. It could be this Gemini individual wanting to turn something. There could be a change in fortune, a change in fate or something. Oh, wait, show me the Strength card. Why is the Strength card here for Pisces and Gemini? Oh no. Oh no. Six of cups. So I don't know if you're dealing with the past person or um, someone here is missing you, feeling nostalgic. Um, and someone's going to find the courage and the strength to come in and, you know, express that they miss you. 
and wanting to three of wands, wanting to move something forward. Um, yeah, the strength part again, it's like wanting to move something forward. Someone's going to find the courage and the strength to like take action towards their future. Knight of Pentacles, why is this here for the outcome? Five of Cups. So someone here may be feeling sad or regretting some type of an ending. Someone may also be uh, mourning an ending or mourning the loss of a situation, mourning a death maybe. Okay. All right, show me the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this here? The King of Pentacles. No flipping way. What in the world? Okay, this reading took a whole fucking left turn, Mike. Or right. Let's say right, because it's in the right direction, right? Hey! Hold on a second. I heard you, you Oh my gosh. Okay. This reading took like a whole right turn. Okay. Um, King and Queen of Pentacles. Someone may be coming in and offering some type of commitment. It's like somebody regrets an ending here and things are going to be turning in a positive direction. I did not see that coming. So maybe this person is like very determined with the Ten of Pentacles here in the chariot and Gemini's energy. Maybe they were very determined Maybe this is with you. Maybe you're the one that's trying to gain some type of mental clarity. And that's why you're having wish fulfillment come in. That's going to give you some type of boost in confidence, action, inspiration, excitement, energy. Like, what? All right. The Ten of Pentacles. So the Two of Swords. This person, this is their current action. The Two of Swords. So they may currently, when you're watching this, or maybe within the next couple of days, this person may not be taking action they may be, um, let's clarify that one. Why is the Two of Swords here in Gemini's next move? Why is the Two of Swords here? The Emperor and the Hierophant. Holy moly balls. So this person may be like indecisive on, I feel like this person is literally trying to like Aries Taurus energy. This person wants to do the right thing. They want some type of traditional marriage commitment this person may be a business owner this person may be working very hard they want some type of stability taking action taking authority taking charge of their life they want to do the right thing commitment tradition wow so this person may just be kind of like what do you call it um evaluating before taking action what was their other card here the magician Yeah, I don't know what I want. So this two of swords could be like this person evaluating, like, do I want to be in something traditional, stable, committed? But I feel like they're going to make the choice or the decision to take action. The magician takes action. They may have been planning something for some time. I don't know. This person does miss you. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as a soulmate, possibly a twin flame here because you got the twin flame card here. Someone does have some type of regrets and it's surrounding an ending. Maybe this person also went through a spiritual transformation. Maybe they were looking at other options and they failed to see this two of cups still standing behind them. And now they regret that. Like they didn't realize what they had until it was gone. So this person may have been planning something for some time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a few romance angels to close this reading out. Spirit, what else do you have? <laughs> what else do you have for Pisces dealing with Gemini? If you guys enjoyed this reading, please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. If you guys haven't done so, please do so. All right. Bring me high in love. That's what song is on. Huh? Three cards, please, for Pisces dealing with Gemini. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. That's that twin flame soulmate energy. Oh, damn. Someone's like, I know what I want. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. Spirit is saying this situation is safe. You know, the king and queen of pentacles is 
commitment. This is someone who's loyal, believes in traditional things like house, family, home, and then healing family issues. Oh, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust. All right, Pisces, dealing with Gemini. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gave you clarity, inspiration, or guidance. Let me know if it did. Smash that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.